So there's a pretty weird situation in the Blues Edmonton game last night, and I'm not talking about the called back goal. I covered that in a prior video, which I'll link above. No, there was a penalty that I've never actually seen before. 30 seconds into the game, after the first stoppage, there was conversation around the Edmonton bench. It turns out that St. Louis had a game sheet violation. Basically, before you start the game, you have to submit your lineup, including the five starting players and the goalie, and they deviated from that lineup. Specifically, Braden Shen was supposed to be playing. It seems like through practice, the lines were updated so that Brandon Saad took that spot. However, the game sheet was not updated to reflect that change. There are actually very specific rules about the submission of game lineups, and it actually ties into one of the benefits of playing at home. Rule 7 of the NHL rules says that prior to the start of the game, the visiting team's coach or manager will submit a list of all eligible players in the starting lineup. The home coach is then made aware of who is starting and then is able to submit their own list. So, home gets the first matchups essentially. The rule also explains the procedure for a penalty which was followed here basically before the second face-off of the game. A non-violating team has to complain to the referee and if the names don't line up it's a penalty. I was wondering what would happen if St. Louis had scored during this first 30 seconds of action and the rule actually explains as well that goals are not actually taken away by these administrative penalties rather you're issued a penalty afterwards. On the other hand if Edmonton had scored, they wouldn't be able to complain about the incorrect lineup. Anyway, further embarrassing Craig Berube and the St. Louis Blues was the fact that, well, Edmonton scored on this first power play, and not only that, but they would get two further bench miners, both for too many men, with the second one resulting in another power play goal. But yeah, I personally had never seen this situation before, but I knew it had happened. And it can affect not only who's allowed on the ice to start the game, but who's allowed generally, and there have been situations where where coaches have slipped up and put the wrong player on the game sheet and someone on the bench has had to be sent off. This most famously happened, I think, in the 2002 playoffs where Pat Quinn accidentally wrote Michael Renberg instead of Robert Reichel on the game sheet. Reichel had to leave, so the Leafs played a player down. I was looking up a video of this situation and one of the YouTube comments made me laugh because it correctly pointed out that this clip has a really nice shot of the tanned bearded Leafs fan who's had Leafs tickets right behind the bench for like three decades. He's somewhat of an icon. My dad always used to talk about him when he came on screen when we would watch hockey back in the day. I haven't actually seen him yet this year. I know he was there as recently as last season and that he apparently gives the ticket away to family members, but he wasn't there in the game against Anaheim. I don't know whether he's made it to a ton of games this year. Leafs fan, please let me know down in the comments. But that's all I really have for today. Let me know what you guys think down below.